Welcome back to Sister Circle Live on this fabulous Friday. Our next guest is one of the funniest comedians around and shows his skills on MTV's hit series, Wild and Out. Yes, uh, please welcome the hilarious Chico <laughs> Bean. <laughs> hey, Chico. Hey. Hello, lovely Chico. ladies. How are you doing? How you doing? Well, thank you so much, beautiful. Oh, yes. Appreciate you. Hey, yeah. Chico. Oh, lovely. How are you? Oh, you smell good, too. Yeah, you got I took the a shower. Smell you took a shower? <laughs> yes. You yes. smell yes. fabulous. You. got the thank whole you. ensemble going well, on. Well, thank you so much. You know, yes. we're coming to be around lovely ladies. Okay. You got to make sure you're presentable. Uh, clean absolutely. And neat, you know I'm talking about clean down to the bed. Yeah, it's casually fine all the way down to mine. I love it. I love it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be serious. So, so, when, so when did you find out for the very first time in your life, like, hey, I'm funny? Uh, well, the first time I found out I was funny, uh, I was doing uh, a play in school, like uh -huh. in elementary school. They had this African American history play where we were all standing in the hallway dressed as, you know, historical figures. I was Malcolm X, uh -huh. and we had to stand, and people would walk past and touch us, and we would come to life and say our lines. And uh, one of the, you know, people came past and touched me, and I forgot my line, uh -huh. and I was like, damn. <laughs> I got to start over again. And everybody just laughed, and I was like, well, let me do that every time somebody touched me. I wasn't supposed to, but, you know, I just caught the kind of, you know, just yeah. to being able to entertain people at that moment. And yeah. from that moment on, I've always been a person that's been able to entertain. It's beautiful. Your voice is lovely as well. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me how you got to be on this amazing show, Wild and Out, and tell me about the audition process. Did Nick Cannon come and find you? How did, you get, how did you become a part of this show? Well, uh, a young lady that I went to college with at Winston-Salem State University Come in North on. Carolina. HBCU. Yeah, HBCU. Yes, yes. 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 all and three of us. All three of y'all yes. HBCU yes. graduates, yes. that's what it is. I'm yes. an alpha, too. So. And I'm an AKA. Well, yes. there we go, there. Look at that. Yes. Find me. Okay, oh, well, yeah. well, God bless you Amen. for you being you. Yeah, absolutely. But um, no, uh, a young lady I went to college with worked with Nick. She was his assistant, mm -hmm. and um, he had did a Fresh Faces a comedy show in 2010, and I got an invite to come up and do the show. Wow. And um, two years later, I found out that Wild and I was coming back, and I got an audition. And when I came into the audition, he remembered who I was wow. from the work that I did on the oh, first show. That I did. So the audition process, it's changed now because, you know, the Internet has kind of changed mm -hmm. the scope of entertainment. Mm -hmm. But when I came in, I had to audition four times to get on the show. Really? Yeah, that was the process. But, yeah. you know, it was, you know, it made you appreciate it a lot more because yeah. it was a new process for me. It was really the first thing that I ever auditioned for on that scale. Yeah. So uh, I was really excited to be able to accomplish it and still be around to this day after, you know, all yeah. the work that's been done. Absolutely. Ooh, I mean, the show's doing just phenomenally. Yes, it's really doing is. so it well. And it also tours. Yes. So for you, what's how do you differentiate, you know, being on the stage, meaning the studio, mm -hmm. the studio stage versus the touring stage? Mm -hmm. How's okay. that different for well, you? Well, the studio, you know, as you guys know, is, is process. You got a whole bunch of people around, counting you in, counting you out, making sure you're where you're supposed to be, staying here, staying there. The live show is completely different. The live show is live. You know, mm -hmm. people come and they see, you know, variations of what we do on the television show, mm -hmm. but we do stand up and, you know, it, it's, uh, it's, it's more free, you know, it's not uh, restricted, to say the least. You know, okay. there's no yeah. bleeps okay. on the live show. <laughs> oh, gotcha. you know, all the bleeps are gone. So, yeah. You know, and then That's people freak. just get to see a different <laughs> yes. element of the talent that we have. Because, you know, the show is only, you know, 22 minutes with commercials, you know right. what I mean? But right. we shoot for two and a half hours each show. So mm. when the live show comes, people get to get that live element of yeah. the improv yeah. aspect that we do on a day-to-day yeah. -day basis on the show. Let me tell you something. It's nothing like a DC dude. Your accent's so thick. It's oh, really yeah. thick. Right. Yes, ma'am. My husband, from he from Columbia, Maryland. Oh, like, yeah. I just That's love it. it. But let's you, talk I about... Know you guys. Yes, you absolutely. <laughs> uh, don't mute DC about mm -hmm. the whole go-go and the, <laughs> at the, at the cell phone. What did it feel like for DC to come together to make sure that culture is not erased? Uh, it was beautiful because, you know, we've suffered a lot in regards to the gentrification of the city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's one of those things where, you know, that's such an, uh, uh, just an enrichment of our culture and our, you know, streets where we come from. So for people to try to, you know, eliminate that was crazy to yeah. me. Like, this is the music that raised us. Like, I didn't grow up wanting to be a rapper. I wanted to be in a go-go band. We would sit in the lunchroom yes. and bang yeah, on the yeah. tables all day and try to come up yes. with beats. So just to see the city still have the love for our culture and our music and come together throughout all of the stuff that we've had taken away from us was beautiful. Yeah, that's good. Beautiful. Well, oh, it's got to get even more beautiful because somebody told me we might go bar for bar, okay. old school style, when we get back with Chico B. Really? So you stay this right there. This is going to be entertaining. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Looking forward to that. Yes. Uh <laughs> Say, hold on. Stop the beat because.
Chico. I'm what you can't beat. You're a sucker MC. And I'm so cool, I just made you look like a straight fool. You, you crazy, Holmes. I diss myself because you can't go to your home because you live with your mama. That's OK. It's my mama's crib. At least I got a cool place I can live. to do. Tell right. us a little bit about your 85 South podcast. And uh, all yes, that. the 85 South show. Uh, show. With DC Army. Young Fly, yes. Carlos Miller, and myself. Ooh, um, all funny. Yes, uh, it's, it's just an idea that, you know, Carlos came up with and kind of brought it all together because mm -hmm. we came in the wild and out together and as you can see we've been working together for a while so yes. it's just an organic I love it. team that I we have it. and we get on stage and it's all improv no practice yes. oh my God. Yes. what we're going to talk about when we get on stage we get on stage and we just go and i think that's what makes people gravitate you towards and that's cool see you are known for your your freestyle old school battles and right. so we're yes, going to try to we're going to try to emulate emulate that today okay oh, wow. all this right is about are we going to be amazing. Are we are we team? Team? i'm ready for that Okay, so what's yeah. the, we, that's what we talking about. This is your subject right here, so whoever want to okay. go first. Soul food. Soul food. Okay. Soul okay. food. Hey. 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 Okay. Hey. What's happening? I like collard greens oh. with some hot sauce oh. on it. I like turkey in that thing, and you know I be on it. Yeah. Hey. Hey.